This morning, a massive development on the AI front. Elon Musk and other major tech leaders calling for a pause on giant artificial intelligence experiments. In an open letter, they warned this. AI systems with human competitive intelligence can, po can pose profound risk to society and should be planned for and managed with commensurate care. Unfortunately, this level of planning and management is not happening. Society has hit pause has hit pause on other technologies with potentially catastrophic effects. Therefore, we call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems. Fox News contributor Douglas Murray joins us now. Douglas, he wants regulations and parameters. Obviously, AI needs a certain level of expertise to do that. Your reaction to these thousand experts headed by Elon Musk and this letter that's now out there. It's an extraordinary letter, I have to say. Uh, pretty much unprecedented. I mean, these are people at the absolute forefront of the technology we're talking about who are expressing deep concern. I mean, to call for a six-month moratorium, basically, on further advancements in the area suggests that they're, they're, they're deeply worried about this. I mean, this, this has been coming on us for 25 years now. So it shouldn't be that much of a surprise that the, the ability of effectively the computers to go faster than we can go on the treadmill, that the treadmill of technology is running faster than we humans can run. We've known this for a long time, but the fact that there has now been this, this stressing that, that we're, you know, we could be in trouble, right. uh, this is unprecedented. So, so what, he, what they're saying is, the smartest people amongst us who do this for a living said they've never seen anything like it. Yeah. And Chatbot uh, is now on this fourth uh, uh, GPT-4. Mm -hmm. It's now on this fourth innovation. Yeah. And the creator says that he is scared about what it can be. Yeah. And we should feel happy that the creator is concerned about what it should become because he has a governor on it. But he does not know how big this can get. Well, look at it this way. Um, every institution of learning in this country has some kind of technology to work out if somebody is, for instance, um, plagiarizing. Uh, plagiarizing technology has been with us for some years now. Chat GPT technology to work out whether or not the essay, the product, has actually been produced by an individual or by Chat B GPT. We don't have that technology yet. No teacher in America can actually work that out. So we're already in a state where the technology is running faster than teachers in America can run. Right. Once and the creators don't know what this is capable of. They don't know what it's capable of. I mean, I mean to call for a six-month sort of ban on this. It, it, I, I think it's quite extraordinary. We, we've, known, we've known for about a quarter of a century now that this is coming. Uh, it, it actually comes from the, the 90s when Kasparov, uh, the great chess champion, was beaten now lives by... Now here in New York City. Exactly. Was, was, was beaten by the computer. And he said then, he said, he said the, mm -hmm. in his notes, he said, the worry I have is that the computer isn't calculating, it's thinking. We are 25 years on from, from that now, and the computers are thinking. So they told this one computer, it's crazy, uh, computers revolutionized our life, no question. No the doubt. iPhone revolutionized our life, our life no yes. question. They say this is even more revolutionary than those two things. That's how important this moment is. Yes. Remember when Brian Gumbel made those statements on the Today Show? What's this interview? Internet thing. What's this whole? They didn't understand, and they were the number one show on yes. the top network, and that's how that looks funny to us now. That's will this this will look to us yeah. at one point. Just your final thought on this letter. C can you imagine? Uh, the internet has revolutionized our lives in so many ways. Uh, it's like the printing press in the Middle Ages. We don't know what the consequences of this are going to be, and we are currently living through an era where it's printing press after printing press is being discovered underneath us. Right, and, and Douglas, it's just so important for everyone to know, these are the smartest people amongst us who are demanding a global pause, Strong. not an arbitrary senator from a state. No. This, is, this is for real. And look at some of these people, uh, from Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, to Elon Musk, uh, Andrew Yang here in New York. Thanks so much, uh, Douglas. All right. Thank you.